Morning. Um, I'm just thinking, Kristen, just, I'll just, I hope you don't mind me saying this, you said you were quite nervous coming in here and talking yeah, I now. And I, all I'm thinking is, your career and your training, the nerves you've needed to do what you do, are extraordinary. The risks you take literally every time you go out on the ice. But this is nothing. But that's what I do. Skating's my thing, it's what I do. I'm not used to doing BBC Breakfast, so it's a bit different. But I was watching, both of you, I was watching the beginning of that little clip from the film. And those crunches when you fall, because you do fall, it happens, good as you are. I mean, they really do make you wince. You get hurt. Yeah, sure, yeah. I think it's just part of, that's part of our sport, though. Uh, you know, injuries happen, but I think that, that can happen in any sport, can it not? Come on, then, rattle them off. Yeah. Injuries. <laughs> Come on, PJ, because you've had loads. Um, How are you, there Kristen? You go. <laughs> I've had a couple of big ones. I slipped three discs. I yes. herniated three discs uh, when I was 19, so a couple of years ago. So I've spent... That whilst skating? Yeah, so I was in France training. I slipped three discs, woke up, couldn't feel my left leg ended up in hospital and spent about 18 months on my recovery and the documentary follows me through my comeback season from that injury. And when that happened, did, I mean, how, what was the balance in terms of whether or not you would be able to go back? Because most people who herniate one disc would think, OK, I've got to be really careful if I'm picking up the baby in the future or if I'm, you know, doing any housework. Let alone getting back on the ice and flinging yourself around in the air. Yeah, so when I was in hospital in France, they basically said that, that was done, they wanted to operate on the spot. But I was 19, I was very young, so I came back to the UK and I saw a fantastic surgeon who basically said, you know, there's not a massive chance, but there's a little... What's an average day? When you're in full training, what's an average day? So for me, I skate three times a day, I get an off-ice session in, I start at 6am and I normally finish training about 4pm and then I'll coach and I have another job as well to help fund the training through the evenings and I, I'm at the rink seven days a week, so it's a lifestyle really. Um, and PJ, what are you going to do with your time now then? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of finding it a little bit weird at the moment. I just find myself at home, like, waking up in the morning. Achieve more than I ever hope to achieve. It's a, it's a great position to be in. Chris, and you're in a slightly different position, though. What's the ambition? For me, it's the next games. I sort of randomly found myself in the running for these ones. I never expected to be in that position. But for me, it was about coming back to sport, and I just want to enjoy it and embrace the opportunities that are given to me. Whether I get another year out of it, I don't know how long my back will hold for. Ideally, the Olympics would be lovely, but I'm going to go as long as I enjoy it and that will be fun for me. Wish well, you it'll be fat. a lot of people will be fascinated to see what goes on behind the scenes and, and sort of how hard it is for you. Lovely to see you both this morning. Very good smart, by the way. Thank very you very smart. much. All <laughs> very, good. very smart. Thank you. Uh, you can watch Freeze Skating on the Edge on BBC Three at 9pm. That's this evening. That's it from us today. Breakfast, of course, back tomorrow at 6. Have a good weekend.